Hey guys, welcome. So uh, one of the most frequently asked questions among the ICO investors uh, is how to create a wallet and how to purchase tokens for, for a new ICO. So now first thing you need to remember that any IC, most of the ICOs in fact are based on Ethereum blockchain. That's why they are called ERC20 tokens. That means to purchase store and transfer those tokens you need a ethereum based wallet so today's video will explain you how to create a wallet and how to use it to purchase ether or any ico so there are many uh, players who provide this kind of wallet be it metamask jazz or mist but one of the most prominent one is my ether wallet so or to create a wallet you go to their website myetherwallet.com and if you can see uh, here they ask you to enter the password and create new wallet but the preferable way is to use the offline version so to use that go to this help section and go to this link how to run my ether wallet locally this explains step by step process to create a wallet locally so go to this link and download this zip file <coughs> this zip file so once you download it uh, you have to just a minute i already downloaded it so i will directly open it so this is the zip file you have to download and extract it so once you extract it go to this index.html and open it with one of your browser so now if you see uh, this is the exact replica of the online version so let me close this one so now we will use this one so it is always preferable to use this offline version so now to create a new wallet just enter a password oh, and click on create new wallet so it creates a wallet for you and uh, gives an option to download the key store file so download it and uh, store this file so this is the file with which you will be able to access your wallet i will explain you how so uh, then click on i understand and continue and this is your private key please remember that this is you should never share this private key with anyone it doesn't matter don't share private key with anyone because if somebody gets hold of your private key then they can get access to your wallet and do anything they want so you can save it in a very safe place so i'll save it in my uh, local system for the time being So I saved this file. So this is my private key. I will tell you how to use this private key. So so now the your wallet is ready. So now to get so to access your wallet, click on View Wallet Info, and there are multiple options how you can access your wallet. So if you see, there are two of the things is using key store or using private key. Let's start using key store so you remember we saved our key store file here it is and it will ask the password so give the password that you have provided and unlock so this is you entered or you accessed your wallet so this is your wallet address this is the ethereum address that they ask the wallet address so you can just for the time being save it and again you can download your key store file just in case you misplaced and you can see your private key here now your wallet is ready another way to access is using the private key let me just try to access again so private key just paste the uh, no 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 yeah this is the private key sorry so see uh, 
I just need your private key to access the wallet. I don't need any password or anything. So please, please, please never share your private key with anyone. Now your wallet is ready. Here you can see your address, your account balance. It's a new wallet, so there is no balance. So it's showing zero ether. Uh, and uh, uh, you can purchase ether from any of the exchanges and transfer it to your wallet, or you can directly purchase using Coinbase. So you, to purchase that, you can click on this one so you can enter the amount for which you want to purchase and how much ether it will show and you can enter the details enter your credit card and you can purchase it directly so that's one way otherwise you can uh, purchase from any of the exchanges and transfer to your wallet so that's another way so basically once you have the ether then you can go to uh, the ico website and they will display one ether address where you need to send the ether so uh, to send the ether you have to click on this one send ether access your wallet lock it and the address where you want to send the ether it will be similar to the one so this is your ether address similar to the one there will be one ether address from the ico so you can enter that then let's say you want to uh, invest two ether and then you have to provide a gas limit provide a decent gas limit so this is like your fuel to uh, make the transaction if it is very low your transaction will fail and your money will be reverted back but you will lose the transaction money so you provide a decent gas limit any unused gas will be returned back to you so gas is basically in terms of ether and then you click on generate transaction and it will uh, create this transaction and then once you click on send transaction it will send you this is a so yes uh, i am sure i want to make this transaction then the transaction will be sent so once uh, you send the ether to the ico web uh, address then they will send the tokens and you can add this uh, custom token here so to see those tokens you have to add this so click on add custom token i recently purchased car taxi so this is the address where i sent them so to add the custom token you have to add the details and the symbol was ctx and decimal was 18 so these things will be provided by the ico website and uh, once you save it see the token or token is already added, added as a default token so ctx is a default token for my ether wallet if it is not then you can add it so as it is a default token you can click your load token and it will show all those default tokens see sorry and you can uh, see all this thing all those default tokens and if there is any uh, tokens are there then the number will be displayed alongside this so so that is how you can use the my ether wallet very easy very secure and the best way is to always use offline version and never share your private key okay so if you have any doubt you can uh, ask in the comment section i will try to reply that or you can uh, drop an email to me i will try to respond as soon as possible so if you like the video please subscribe my channel and share it thanks thanks a lot